Okay, this is my 49 Dodge Flathead 6. This is the oil canister. I pulled the filter out of it, and the oil level stayed right about here. I realize what goes on here. Your oil comes in here, goes through your filter, and then there's a, line, a hole here. It would uh, go back, then it goes down into the block. Now, I was kind of curious. Uh, I, I was wondering... After I used uh, a basting, <laughs> I used a baster, suck all the oil out of here and cleaned it out. And then I uh, ran a screwdriver in here, and uh, it only went down to the bottom of the canister. It, it, it went hard. It was gooey. I had all kinds of heavy, like, tar on my screwdriver. And I finally cut a piece of wire, mechanics wire, and I ran it in here. I put an air hose here and held this shut before I ran the wire in, I held this shut, turned the air hose on, you couldn't hear air go anywhere, it wouldn't go anywhere. So I started running this up and down after I got it down to the bottom, got to get it lined up with the tube down there. Kept going into the tube a little bit at a time, maybe an inch, I'd pull it back out, and I'd have big globs of grease and oil on the end of my wire. So I kept on doing it, back and forth, back and forth, and I thought, I think I may have broke through. So I put my air hose on here and held it. I thought, well, it sounds like it's going someplace. I wasn't real sure. So I pulled this off, stuck a heater hose down in the, the tube there, held the hose to my ear, held this shut, blew air down. I could hear air going back into the block. So... At least I got the passage opened. I don't think it was actually oiling properly. I didn't have any trouble with the motor. I didn't run it that much. But it probably wasn't getting back into the block the way it should have. So now I'm going to start putting her back together, put a new filter in it. I guess what I do is then I'll put oil in it. After I get the filter in, bring oil up to this line. Well, it'll only get so full. And uh, put my lid back on. That's it. Then I'll drain the oil out of the, the block, put new oil in there, and... Hopefully that takes care of that problem. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I can put a few more videos up for you. Thanks a lot.